National Hot Dog Day, National Sunglasses Day, National Witch Hazel Day. Why is that a thing? Where did this whole thing come from? Who picks these days? Explain it to me. Take it easy. I've got all the answers. Welcome to By The Way Today Is. Is everything okay with the dryer? Yeah, I guess. Is there a reason you're sticking your head in the dryer? Yes, because you cannot convince me that there is not a secret passageway in here that our socks escape through. I just bought this pair of socks and I cannot find the other one. I know it's in here somewhere. That always seems to happen. It's so annoying. But you're really seeming aggravated. So why don't you pull your head out of the dryer and we can talk about socks. Not where they go. Okay. But only because today's November 21st, which is Odd Socks Day. What are the odds? Who knows? Apparently pretty good. Well, then tell me more. First, what kind of socks did you lose in there? Well, I just bought new Baby Yoda socks. Mm-hmm. And... Grogu. Yes. And my Nightmare Before Christmas socks, which I love. And I'm missing one of each. So apparently they love each other and they ran off together. Into the mysterious void in the dryer. <sighs> Well, that's okay because it's since it's Odd Socks Day, you could just mis- mismatch them and wear one of each. So it's like nothing is wrong. Well, got to tell you, I do that a lot anyways. <laughs> so it's good that that's what today is. Me too. I've, I'm wearing two different socks right now. Don't even come close to matching. But it's because I have so many odd socks that I like to go through them quicker. So I wear one of each each day. That's a good idea. Good plan. It's silly, but it's a good good thing for today. So let's start with our by the way fact. Okay, hit me. It's gross one. Oh, uh, okay. How much perspiration can a sweaty foot produce? Uh, all right. Also, I have very sweaty feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always have. So I would say a lot. Lay it on me. What is it? A sweaty foot can produce over one quarter of a pint of sweat. A day? An hour? What is, what is it? In a day. I feel like at our job, with how much we run around, I bet you we, we have more. Could be. But when you take that quarter of a pint, and if you have really sweaty feet, like you say you do, <laughs> you could fill a two-liter bottle of soda in four days oh, full of sweat. That just makes me want to gag. Oh, God. Uh, uh. You up for a glass of soda? No. Uh, Fortunately, I do not drink soda. So, because our socks perspire so, or our socks don't perspire, our feet perspire (laughs) so much, that's why we have to wear socks. Huh. And socks have been around for a long time. They've been around since ancient times. They actually found a pair of socks from ancient Egypt around the year, somewhere between the year three to 500. Hmm. They, They were wearing them all the way back then. These socks are interesting. They have split toes, which makes it look like. Humans back then had bird feet. If you yeah. looked at the sock, it That's looks like funny. they have the feet of a bird. Where did the split in the toes go? Like two toes in one, mm-hmm. three in another? That's weird. It's very weird. It looks that like seems a, very uncomfortable. As soon as I saw it, I, th- I thought it was possibly a, a bird foot, but it was a human foot. Little do we know that birds used to wear socks. Maybe it was a bird sock. <laughs> so they were designed that way because of the sandals that they wore so that they could wear the socks comfortably with the sandals. Oh, God, they, they rocked that nerdy look all the way back then? All the way back then. Oh, that's terrible. But at least they were living in comfort, and that's why people say they do it today, because it's comfortable. Or because their feet sweat a lot. Huh. So they were made back then from leather, or they were matted down animal hair. So that's what the so- leather socks back then. That also seems like it would make your feet even sweatier. That's what sweatier. they wore. They didn't know a lot back then. Yes, not. And it wasn't until the late 16th century that knit socks were first produced. Mm. It was a very long time before they got to that technology. And those were made from silk, cotton, and wool. Mm. So they were warm and cushy, but again, your foot's still going to sweat a lot by, by wearing those. Well, I don't know. What about silk? I feel like silk is pretty breathable. Yeah, that's true. But I just think about like the hiking socks I wear when we go hiking. Oh, yeah. They keep my feet warm, but they do sweat. Yeah. So that's what they advanced to. And then it wasn't until 
1938 that they came out with nylon and that was the next biggest advancement in socks when they started making nylon socks which was very breathable mm, like the pantyhose mm-hmm. things like that the thinner ones who wears yeah. pantyhose anymore don't know i don't know either. but we're talking about nylon socks wait till pantyhose day oh then okay. we'll find out who wears them okay <laughs> So why is today Odd Sock Day? Do you have any idea why? I don't know. Because somebody got just as mad as I did and they were in the dryer and they're like, Eureka, I know how to solve this. I'm going to make an Odd Sock Day. That would be a good reason. Mm. Maybe you need to come up with these reasons yourself and start your own podcast. Oh, okay. Oh, are you trying to tell me leave, keep my ideas to myself? (laughs) No, they're good. They're all right. But today... You need to wear wild and crazy and odd socks because this was actually a day that was created to coincide with a very good cause, and that was the start of National Anti-Bullying Week. Oh. So today is actually the start of National Anti-Bullying Week. It got its start back in 2017, and people were encouraged to wear odd socks as a way to draw attention to the fact that it's okay and actually a good thing to stand out if you want to. That is kind of my motto. It is. But I'm also kind of a bully. I'm torn about this. <laughs> well, it's not your week. So there, the whole theory was that if you could say to someone that those are great socks just because they were so odd and wild and, and crazy, is the thought was, why couldn't you say that to someone about another thing that they do that might be odd instead of bullying them and making fun of them about it? Yeah. Why so can't you was, just let someone be? That's it. So that was the whole reason that this odd sock day started to promote anti-bullying week well that's good so it's actually a very good cause and so it's going to be very easy for you to celebrate when you're getting ready for school or work or whatever you're going to do just wear some wild and crazy socks and then make sure you post them on social media because there's going to be a lot of them on there and it's just again to help people know that bullying's not okay and that you can be yourself do what you want to do and you don't need to worry what people say about you that's the best motto in the world i love it So make sure you do that today, and that's going to end our episode for today. Come back tomorrow, and you'll see what day we can celebrate. In the meantime, you can go to our website, Let's Talk, or not Let's Talk Petty. That's our other (laughs) podcast. (laughs) But you can go to bythewaytodayis.com, and you can listen to all of our older episodes, subscribe, follow, and rate our podcast there. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Remember to subscribe, rate, and review our show. You can download new episodes daily to hear what day we are all celebrating and how we can celebrate it. And be sure to share your favorite episode with your favorite person so you guys can celebrate together.